Recession is either here or it's coming, and this will be the time that will shape a generation of realtors. Today, I'm gonna to share with you the seven things you can expect to see change in the coming year. Well, change is inevitable, and that's what we're seeing in the real estate market and have seen for the last year and anticipate we will continue to see for at least for a little bit into the future. So what can we do to understand that this change in the market and how it's going to affect the next generation of realtors? How is it that you can take this change and use it as an opportunity for you to grow your business and not just go through this recession, but actually grow through this recession? So I want to kind of give you a state of the market, so to speak. Uh, Jimmy Mackin from Curator said it this way. He said that we are entering the hunger games of real estate. And what he meant by that is, is that we're anticipating 4.5 million sales transactions in the year of 2023. Now that is the same amount of transactions that we had in 2012. But the difference is, is that in 2012, there were 999,000 agents, real estate agents in the United States. This year we have 1.7 million realtors in the United States. Think about that. A 70% increase in the number of, in the amount of competition versus the same amount of transactions. So here's where we are. As he put it, it is the Hunger Games. The strong will survive. So what is it that we're going to do that we're going to go through this thing in a way that leads us to having not just success now, but success into the future as well? The first thing to understand is, is there will be winners. There will be somebody that will have their best year. Why not you? What is it that you can do to make sure that this possibly is the best year that you've ever had and sets the table for future growth? It is that you have to become more educated than ever before. You have to become the local resource for everything real estate in your local market market. You have to do more video. You have to market your face off. You have to be the person that when people think about real estate, you're the first person they think of. When you do that, not only will you have success this year, but you're setting the table for an amazing amount of success into the future as well. The second thing we're going to see and that will shape us into the future is grit will be revealed. Those people that are willing to understand that this too shall pass. Those people that are understanding that it is about having conversations and building relationships. Those people that are willing to understand that transactions are going to fall apart and they're going to keep moving forward. Those people that are going to realize that sometimes they don't get the listing and that person they counted on didn't do it the way they thought they would. The people that have perseverance, that show their grit, those are the people that are going to survive in this situation. The people that make their first move when something bad happens to pull back are going to be the ones that struggle. My son runs long distance racing in high school. He's in cross country and long distance runs in track. One of the things that's pretty interesting and that I've watched with him is, is that it's such a perfect example of finding success in life, finding success when you're running long distances. I've, I've talked to him about this. The difference is, is that everybody feels pain in a race, but the people that understand that the pain is temporary and they push through it and they keep running, those are the people that find success. They also have to find their own pace. They can't just come out of the blocks and run so hard that they burn themselves out. You also have to be in a place that you can finish strong. You keep a little bit of gas in the tank so that when the opportunity comes, you're ready and able to move at a pace that no one else can move. So what is it that you're doing? Understand your grit is the key to success as we go forward. Number three is there will be losers. There will be people that will not push forward. There will be people that will understand that this is a little bit harder than they thought. There will be a lot of people that came into this because they thought it was easy money and then when they realize it's not they will retreat so we will see the number of real estate agents reduce over the next year the difference is is those that are leaving they're making room for you uh, we have this thing where I grew up uh, we had these control burns a lot of state-owned land and what happens is is that what happens with a place that's unattended or that is just left to its own for a while is that you have all of these weeds and all this underbrush that grows up what they do with the state forestry system is is they come in and they actually have a control burn where they burn an area where they burn all the underbrush. Now, let me just say this. There are some wounds that come to even the healthiest trees. They do get singed a little bit, but what happens is, is they come through that, maybe with a few wounds, but they come through it stronger than they were before. All of that that was around them actually now is cleared out, which gives them more room for growth. There will be losers in this. If you're going to be the one that survives, do the things we talked about, about becoming the best agents and the resource in your area, and I'll promise you're going to be glad you did. The fourth thing will happen is, is that agents will begin to 
understand the value of a referral. The referral is, is the easiest part of our business. Now, that could be a referral from a past client from your sphere of influence or even from other agents. Now, what happens is, is when we go through these things, we find the other agents that are going through it as well and that are growing through it, and we begin to build these partnerships with agents in other markets. Now is the time for you to begin to build those relationships with everyone in those other markets because ultimately those referrals are not just going to help you get through this next year. They're going to build a foundation of business that you'll have steady number of transactions year after year from that core group of people that you grow with. Number five is, is that commission will be compressed. And when we have these times and we have this hunger game, so to speak, is certain agents are willing to sacrifice their commission to be able to just get a transaction. So what you're going to see is you're going to see desperate agents almost like a last gas where they will reduce their commissions to try to get these transactions. They're chasing these transactions. Consequently, here's what the great agents will do. They understand now more than ever, it's more important than ever that you're able to communicate the value you bring. You have to understand the way to talk about the things that help them get what they are looking for more. So if they're on a listing appointment, what is it that you're going to do to help them maximize their price, get their home sold faster, market better than anyone else, so that ultimately their bottom line dollar is more than it would have been if they take that less percentage on the commission. Also, if you're on the buyer side, people that are willing to give rebates and things, what is it that you do for your buyers that adds more value than anyone else? How are you going to make the process simpler for them? What is it that you're going to do that's different? When you identify the things that you do different, you have the boldness to demand the premium that you deserve as your commission. The sixth thing is, is that agents will understand that there is a difference between value and price. Now, I'm going to specifically speak right now to a couple of different areas. The first one I want to speak to is your commission split that you have with your company. Um, I, we had a lot of people that when the market was great that they left our company because they got a higher split. Ultimately, when you're in a difficult environment, you understand the value that was being brought to you. You understand the opportunity to have somebody to help guide you through this. Are you surrounded by people that are giving you value right now and helping you do deals when no one else is doing deals? Are you surrounded by a group of leaders that have been through where we are going into? Because ultimately, here's what happens is, price is what you pay. This is the way Warren Buffett says it. Price is what you pay, value is what you get. Are you getting the value or are you focusing on the price? Ultimately, be at the place that's gonna give you the opportunity to do more business because when you do more business, you make more money. Let me also speak to value versus price when you're thinking about marketing. Evaluate all of the expenses you have. When we have this time, really one of the best things that you can do is to understand that you need to evaluate exactly where you're spending money in your business and what value is it bringing you. Is it bringing you value and where you have a positive return on that investment or is it something that you've just always done? Now is the time to refine those things that you're spending money on because ultimately it's all about that value, not about the price. Last but not least, the strong will get stronger and the weak will die. This is an environment where you're going to build some opportunity for you to build confidence going into your future. I can look back on myself and the difficult times that I had when I was able to overcome whatever it was that I was facing, it gave me more of a confidence that I could do and handle whatever came my way. Now is the time for you to build that confidence. Overcome. Don't just go through this. Grow through this as we said. What is it that you're doing to make sure that when you come out on the other side of this that you're stronger than when you went in? You see there will be people that will fall to this wayside and there will be people that will step up. The next group of leaders are being forged in the fire right now. Make sure that you're the person that is making sure that you're leaning into all the opportunities you have and that you're taking advantage of this time to grow into the person that you were created to be. I hope this is helpful and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. I specifically chose the video below for you because it builds on the one you just watched. I hope it's helpful and I'll talk to you soon.